walking in and went to one. Shh, Nadia hasn't seen me in this yet. Morning, guys. Where's my glasses? Shit, where's my glasses? Okay, Nadia hasn't seen me in this yet. So you've seen me. Have you seen me? Are you there yet? Hi. Welcome to the No Name Sunday Show. Can you see me? Say yes. Is it working? Can you point at it? Say hello. Good morning. Oh, that's nice. Are we live? Yeah. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Oh my God, the girls will have that off you. Isn't it great? There is no way Maddie's going to let you keep that hat. Isn't it great? Oh, Do you it's like fantastic. it, guys? Fantastic. You know what would be really nice if there was some bubbles on the bottom? Baubles. Some big fluffy bubbles. Oh, I love it. It's nice, isn't it? Morning, everybody. Morning. Da -da. I'm Rudolph. Da -da -da -da. Now, we are not mentioning it. Now, listen, guys, we've got a few hiccups in our format, a few wrinkles in our running order, a few hurdles in our hope. Lisa Loves is currently shopping, so she can't do Lisa Loves. That's not very well. Teddy's he's not, not very doing. well, so he's not doing Teddy Talks. But we have got Nanny Dye doing a book of the week, which is nice. And it's always fun, I think, trying to make the technology work with Nanny Dye. That's almost more entertaining than actually seeing her sometimes. But we do have the dogs. So do you want to say hello no, to them? No, can we first do, get this on the cook and do the dogs afterwards? I like doing the dogs. Yeah, I know, but I've got quite a bit of stuff to do. Oh, lots of don't people get, saying... Don't get obsessed with your list. I like my structure. <laughs> no, because you've got to trust me, I've got to cook to, to take... Babe, I'm a dishes. rigid reindeer. He's a rigid okay. reindeer. Okay, so we're going to go straight in for the food, guys. Thank you very much. Love your hat. Yeah, everyone's saying um, someone wants to stroke my hat. Such a Coming in. So, I was lying in bed the other day and I was thinking, how could you make a nice Christmas dinner if it was just one of you, or just two of you, and you didn't want the full faff, but you wanted all the flavours? All of this was because I was lying in bed, desperate for the taste of a, of a roast dinner. Guys, I was lying so, inside her being I've romantic. I've come up with this idea, turkey thigh mince, and we're going to make a turkey Christmas burger with roast potatoes, bacon, cranberry sauce, gravy, the lot. But it's super, super easy. So I've even bought, shop-bought roast potatoes, guys. I've never done that before. So here I've got uh, two tablespoons. This is a roast dinner in a burger. A roast dinner in a burger. That's a fantastic idea. I know, it's a good idea, idea isn't it? And so we get, happy birthday. With all of those flavours. So... Straight away into my turkey mince, my sage and onion stuffing, which will also work as a binder for the turkey and keep it all together when we fry it. It's a bit wet this because I had to defrost it. I hope it doesn't all fall apart. Hilary <laughs> Jones says, Dina's sprouts make me hungry at 1am this morning. Oh my God, they are so delicious. Fry them with a little garlic, shred them, add cream, parmesan, and she used all vegan products and it was delicious. So we've got our um, our sage and onion stuffing. So here, I literally shredded and cooked three Brussels sprouts. So you can do all of this with leftovers? No, this isn't a leftover. You could do oh, this with so leftover. That... Yeah, this is for Christmas dinner, meal for one. You, right, okay. you couldn't, well, okay. Ah. Then some onion, about um, two teaspoons of onion. Could you do this for leftovers? I don't think like so in leftover sweet. turkey, no. Because no, okay. this is this is this is for people at home that don't have lots of people around them and want all the flavours. Oh, Elijah says this will be good. I'm home alone this Christmas. Yeah, okay. So you've got the um Brussels sprouts there. Remember, just, just cook them for a few minutes, shred them and cook them for a few minutes. Right, let's right. get our pan on. We're gonna have bacon, we're gonna have all the gorgeous flavours of Christmas. Tell me when I can so really lots of let me just get let me just get this into the pan. I shall tell you everything. Lots. I tell you why because what I want to do is I actually want to put this on the main channel. This dish, so you get to see it first. But I want to kind of get this done in a kind of smooth way so we could put it into one of the vlogs for other people that might be on their own this Christmas. 
So you really want to season it up well. Uh, 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 uh. Bit more pepper. Give it a stir. So you're making a patty now. Yes, I'm making a Christmas dinner patty. Mm. Right, so next. So we've got everything in there. So I'm going to add a little... This is a really good way of not getting the meat to stick to stuck to your hands. Wow. So just wet your hands, take your burger, and actually I would probably, if I was doing this on Christmas Day, I'd probably do it a bit thicker and just do one, but I don't want to take it to take forever to cook. So it would be better to now put that in the fridge for it to firm up, um, but we haven't got time. So, and I didn't have enough to do one up prepared earlier. So I'm just making it the size of my bun, maybe a bit more. So we've got in there sage and onion stuffing, onion, Brussels sprout, carrot. So into the pan. That looks like a burger. Yep, it is. It's a Christmas yeah. dinner burger. Looks delicious, says Kieran Robin. Morning, Sally O'Sullivan. I'm just so proud of this idea. I just yeah, thought, it's a good idea. yes. And then also, if you can't be faff with making roast potatoes, I've got some shop-bought roast potatoes that I've got over in the oven there that I've never used before. Oh. So I'm going to taste those and tell you what I think. And I've even put some, let's just keep them. I've even put a little, um, what's it called? I don't know. Some uh, pigs and blankets as well. Hey. So you get the full flavour. Shall I do some hello? So we'll Walking let that just cook away, yeah? A few minutes, and Mark's going to do some hellos. Hello. I, I purposefully didn't shave today so that I was hairier for to be a reindeer. That's the excuse I'm using for nads, anyway. Uh, morning, Deborah Tideswell, Gemma C, 1980, Jenny Fay, Steph Schultz, Stuart G, Louis, Louis Craig, Hazel Malbon, Shara Lou, Susan Norton, Mel W, Jens Markhead, or Marked, Cara Blears, User One, Tina Davis, Remay W, Natalie Erna, Okay, Kim Lakidis, coming back to you. So while that's cooking away, Mark, I actually some of the messages that came in for the vlog the other day. Let's move away from that. Yeah. <gasps> that came in under your vlog with your mum, the one that you did with your mum, which I'm planning to sit and watch with the girls' sake, because I haven't even seen it. So Sarah Downs says, this is the most gorgeous, gorgeous vlog. Honestly, so emotional watching this. As a mum myself, I could feel Nanny Di's pain when she started remembering things from that time. And you can just see how much she wishes some things were different for you, Mark. Aww. Can completely relate to the feelings you must have had too, Mark. So special that you've both come out the other side of your struggles and have the relationship that you do. Bless, best vlog so far for me, and I've been here from day one. Sarah, I, I read that and I just was like, I was so, because I know that will mean the world to Mark. Yeah, um, Little Dorrit, dog. Mark, that was such a wonderful film and the relationship that you and Annie Di have is something that you both should be proud of. I think so too, because yeah. you've worked through some heavy shit. The memories that you share, although difficult at times, should be treasured. Not many people can say they share the bond that you and Annie Di do with a parent. Simply because not many who have experienced what you both have would be fortunate to come out the other side. So Aww, isn't that lovely? Thank Thanks, guys. Right, Thanks, let's guys. have a little look at our burgers you don't want to be moving them around too much and prodding them around too much let them i'll probably turn that a little bit early no, that's right oh laura laura sending love laura there we go oh and it smells it does like christmas it in here because we've got all that lovely oh sage and onion stuffing and everything right so um next ooh, ooh. I like got, now, what is that sort of bun? I like those. That's a brioche bun. Ooh. That's the sweet bun that you get in the most delicious burgers. They do that in America, don't yeah. they? Have sweet bun. You don't have to use that kind of bun. Right, now I'm just going to add just a little dot of oil. Because we're nearly there with those burgers, I am going to do some bacon. So we've got the bacon flavour as well, and this really nice crispy. This goes really nice and crispy. This is my favourite bacon, spoiled pig. And you know what? If it's Christmas, spoil yourself. Get a really nice quality bacon. So that's going to go on top of the burgers. Oh, wow. So let's go over to... Um... Oh, I know what I need to do. 
I need to put my gravy, so I've got some really nice shop bought gravy. Shop bought gravy. You know, I'm saying this is a meal for one, but also if you're just knackered, say, I don't know, you've had a bit of a, a week in the run up, and all your family, you know, because a lot of people mm. don't like turkey, so you might find that if you presented this as a possibility Ooh. to your family, you could do this for everybody. And the great thing is, it's cheaper than doing the big turkey. Um, it's really hard, it's really hard. We did receive your car, thank you so much. Nobody has to be exhausted with all the cooking. So I've done all the shortcuts I can. So these are Aunt Bessie roast potatoes. Don't forget, we've got our veg there in the burgers, but you could do extra veg. I've got parsnips, Aunt Bessie parsnips, which actually I have to say, we love, don't we, Mark? We do. I'm going to make a roast today and I'll be using Aunt Bessie parsnips. Oh. I can't be asked with parsnips. My sister says I'm a disgrace. Really? Yeah. Are they all right? It's unforgivable. Yeah, they're all right. And guess what? We're nearly there. We're wow. nearly there with a great Christmas dinner. That's amazing. I'm actually going to cut those in half. So we've got our Chi coating for um, a pig in blanket. So I'm going to tuck those in. Like that. Oh, I'm going here. Pig in blanket. We've got our gravy ready. Oh, this is like that great. That one's ready. So on that. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Self. I was just thinking about people that can't be bothered that don't want to do a whole roast dinner. Yeah. But desperately want that taste of the Christmas dinner. So this is a really nice shop bought gravy. You much pour better that, than James Martin. I'm going to pour that into my little, nice little individual dish. Right, now next. We need some cranberry. We were quite surprised that they only sell five million pots of cranberry a year yeah. in this country. So not everyone likes cranberry. Aaron Robbins is having dust and cherry sauce for Christmas dinner. Yeah, guys, I make that a what, lot. What are you? What are you having for Christmas dinner? Share, share. Hello. Okay. Hopefully you're having this somewhat. So we've got the cranberry. So we've got our double burger ready. Natasha, I don't think we have had that yet. Whoa. Oh, nope. just put the bacon onto a um, piece of kitchen paper just to make sure it's not fatty. If you wanted to, you could put some blue cheese on Whoa, there as well. Oh, now you're talking. Hang on a minute. Okay. I want to do a photo for the gram. Oh, she's doing a photo for the gram. I want to do a photo for the gram. I think this will really help a lot of people out this year. Because you know what? My mum ordered her turkey ages ago on a card, oh, from one of these posh yeah. uh, farm places. And she got an email the other day saying anyone that ordered their turkey after the, six, from, after the 16th of December will not be getting it. And she'd ordered it on the 16th of December. Look at so, that. So, I'm sorry. Mark, can you take a nice photo of the ground, please? So there we've got it. We've got our sage and onion stuffing, carrots, Brussels sprout, bacon burger. We've got our nice hot gravy. We've got our parsnips and our roast potatoes and our pigs in blanket and our gravy. You got a nice photo? Yeah, hang on. Fabulous. Let's get, get right, let's, shall we pour the gravy on so we can have that oh, orgasmic moment? come on, let's, let's do it. Let's have an orgasm, come on. Oh. Let's have an orgasm, come on. See, she can say Ooh, it. If I use the O word. Foodgasm. 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 Okay, who wants to see the gravy going on? Yes. Mm. <laughs> Are people liking this idea, Mark? Oh my God, they love this idea. Let's get you right in there. God, guys, what's that like? That's the photo I took for Insta. Right. Let's get right in there. I want to try these Aunt oh. Bessie roast potatoes because I've never had them. Okay. And I am the roast potato queen. They look nice. They've got a softness to them. Do you know what? They're not bad if I couldn't be asked. Next time I fancy a roast dinner and I can't really be asked, I, I, I might get them. What do, have other people ever had them? 
It's better than the festive burger at McDonald's, says Kieran. That looks delicious, says Pauline. Mm. Hazel says, oh, I could just eat that. Stuart says, I could just eat it. Deborah says, where the gravy from, Nadia? Sainsbury. Um, Yum, says Sarah Doolally. Oh, yes, yummy, says Kath Cross. Wish you could pass it through the screen for us, says Sue K. Marks and Spencer's chicken gravy. There you go. So the fact, what I wanted was to make sure you got all the flavours of Christmas. Um, and I think we've pulled that off. Are you going to taste Happy it? Happy Christmas! No, because I did it quite quickly, so I probably haven't cooked it right the way through in oh. the middle because I didn't want people to get bored. So do you want to text my mum and tell her we're coming? Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh. Or do you need to do something else? Can we put the apples on first? Apples on first? Mm. So. What, so, what, so this is pudding? This is a nice, really easy apple crumble pudding. Caramel apple crumble. So, I've got a little bit of water in my pan here. I've got four eating apples. I, I cut them earlier, but I put some lemon on to make sure they didn't go too brown. I'm going to put them in. Give it a stir. And then to that, I'm going to add six <gasps> tablespoons of carnation. of carnation caramel. Oh. Oh. Actually, no, five, because one's going in the in the uh, in the crumble. Doesn't that look nice? Um, Does. Actually, four I'm going to put in because I might not have enough for the top. Love, Aunt Bessie. I live five minutes from the factory, says Jennifer. Really Every nice. Every night the air is filled with the smell of burnt oil. Oh, mm. God, does it put you off then? Oh, God, that right foot has gone really weird. So I'm going to give that a, a little time to cook down. Oh, and but now nice. I want to show you how to make the crumble. Right. And then we'll go to your mum. Cool. So we've got 50 grams of flour yeah. and oats. Oh, look, you can do it at the same time. And I wanted to get, actually, the butter. She's multitasking, I, guys. I put the butter in the fridge because the colder the butter, the better right. for a crumble. So I've got 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of oats, and 50 grams of butter. Fantastic. Really easy. Um... I'm going to keep this quite simple, but you can add whatever you want to it. You could add nuts. Hazelnuts would be really nice with this, I think. You could add um, um, cinnamon or ginger. Does ginger go with caramel? It does, doesn't it? It does. Ginger goes with everything for me. Ginger's Should I add a some bit ginger? Like raisins for me. Okay, and then I'm going to just add like a tablespoon of brown sugar because we don't need too much because we've got the caramel. So it's a tablespoon of brown sugar. Um, do we want some ginger in it? Yeah. Okay. Ellery Jones says women can always multitask. Yeah, we're just born to do it. It's because, i tell you why, it's because we can grow life while just getting on with everything else. You lungs. Can we can grow life. Lungs, fingers, toes. But, can you, but men can make that life happen and do other things. Mark, go away. <laughs> do not try and compete on that level, darling. You're going to come, you're going to fall want... horribly short. Pardon? Short? <laughs> What do you mean? Short of what? You know, you're what? not you're not going to be able to compete. I grew life in my body. I grew lungs and toenails and eyeballs. Yeah. You had a you had two sperm spare. <gasps> Sorry, you made me do it. <sighs> right, how are apples oh. doing? Oh, they're cooking down nice. God, I can't believe she just said that. And you were trying to compare a woman's unbelievable body compared to a man's. I once juggled three balls whilst, you know what, Kieran Robbins just spat his tea out. <laughs> <laughs> Angela locks in hysterics. Right, so there's our crumble. I want to get this in the oven because it will take 20, 25 minutes. So we want to see it at the end. Um, Oh, it's a bit top heavy with food at the show today, but that's it is, all right. Isn't it? No, but I really it's wanted to do these two, two dishes because I thought this would be so nice for an easy Christmas dinner. So, there we have it. Um, the apples could cook down a bit more, obviously, so they're a bit softer, but we haven't got time. Okay. So I don't want to bore you. Oh, no, there's the tea. <laughs> oh, God, I never thought we'd be together at that age. Sounds um, like they're faulty. 
This is Maddie's point of view. So now I'm putting some ginger in. Yep. That's a well-used ginger bag. Yeah. Looks like something from Breaking Bad. Ginger. Okay, so we put our apples into the dish. Imagine that they were cooked for a bit longer because we're doing this in live time without one I prepared earlier because I don't have to And have of course, them. can you, if you use cooking apples, will this be bitter? Well, you if need you to use, use more sugar? Well, no, you could use cooking apples. Um, I hate cooking apples. Yeah, but a lot, I, I didn't because you hate them. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there is always that, however much sugar you put in this, that yeah. tartness, isn't there? So I'm putting another tablespoon of caramel in here. There's Chi Chi. Who mix. let the dogs out? Give that a bit of a mix Doggy. up. In a minute, we're going to go and see what's in Toffee's kleptomaniac corner. Yeah, she's had a very productive Christmas, hasn't she, this year? I've got a text ready to go to your mum saying we're going Brilliant. to be phoning her. Shall I do that now? Yeah, I'd send it. Okay, well. And she'll be sat there. There you Whoa. go. So crumble on the top. Now you're purposely keeping sort of lumps of butter. Nigel Slater used to oh say God, that. Oh God, absolutely. Yeah. You don't want to, yeah, we like that. That was that. one of those top tips. Look how easy that was, guys. So yeah. that's going to go into the oven Come with you. for about 25 minutes. The girls come up back for their breakfast. Okay, text me okay. on. Just want to say, did you see how fast I went there? Yeah, I'm just going to log into my computer. And we're going to... guys enjoying the live? Yeah, are you enjoying the live, guys? You like the live No Name Sunday you, show? They love a live No Name Sunday show. Um, Nadia remarked, can I please send you my partner's book that's been published and would love you for you to read it, Louise Jones. Send, yes, please. It's good to be back, says Kieran. Yes, I love it, Shara Lou. Susan Norton, this is torture. I want all the food. Love the live shows, Natasha. Really like Nigel Slater, Angela. Well, we're probably going to upload our Taste of My Life series soon. Uh, loving it, Tina Davis, Kath Cross, Hayley Edwards, Reme W, Della, MT, Ellery Jones, all loving it. Okay, oh. let me phone Mama, Mi Madre, Maman, Petit Maman. Uh, what the hell's Skype? Okay, so here we go. Let's. Okay, so here we go. Oh, Let's. I'm going to have to. Oh, I'm going to have to. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Let me just. Uh, Get rid of the audio feedback. It's not, it's not easy doing this, you know, guys. It's not easy. We've got all sorts of tech issues coming up. Okay, let's hope she picks up the phone, shall we? Oh my God, I can't stop eating the red potatoes and parsnips. Okay, so here we go. Just hang with us, hang with us, it's happening. And Nanny Dai, incoming now. <laughs> Time in. Nan, um, hit the camera. Uh, hold on. Hit the camera icon, Ma. Hold oh, on. look at you. Look at my mum. Oh, oh, hi, guys. She's gone. Come back. Hold on. Yeah, look at her. She's got, she's got Christmas lights around her. Look. Oh, wow. You look so Christmassy. Hi, Di. Uh, hi, love. I'm doing my bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mum. I couldn't find the hat, the other hat, so I've got this one that you and Kiki bought me. Oh. If I surround myself with, with, with them, uh, it's a good job you're called now, though. It's getting slightly hot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go up in flames. <laughs> you know, exactly. Can you hear me, love? I can hear you, love. Okay, okay. Can you see you me? Nice. I like your reindeer hat. It's, it's good, good, isn't it? Yeah. So are we, are, we, are we seeing you later? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a well, shame. Because I'd have to, A, there aren't any trains to Crystal Palace, I'd have to go down to oh. whatever it's called. Not that that's a big problem, but I'll be coming back tomorrow. Oh, so okay. It's all this, you see. Oh, okay. And then coming over in the week anyway, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, because it's Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all is that right. All right? Yeah, that's fine. Of course oh. it is. Yeah, that's all right. Um, so, okay. book right. of the week. Book of the week. Now, this, this is, in many ways, not an easy one to tell you about. Oh. It's a brilliant book. Can you see it? It's called The Fortune Men. Oh, yeah. 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 And by, I get the names mixed up a bit, but it's by Nadifa Mohammed. Right. right. 
uh, it was nominated for the Booker, and it's only just lost out to the Booker. She yeah. was the only English writer on the panel, and I don't know her stuff, but she's she's touted as an absolutely you know brilliant young writer. Yeah, it is. This is an incredible book. It's. I don't know what you think about this cover, Mark, but can you see that man dressed like he's dressed? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah. See on the back, what's happened there? Oh, it's a silhouette. Yeah, he's gone out of the picture. Yeah. Basically, he's gone out of the picture. Now, what this is, is it's a true story. Right. Uh, um, she sort of, she embellishes it, but it's about a man called um, uh, Mahmoud, Mahmoud Matan. Yeah. He's um he's a Somali um uh, uh man yeah and he and he works on the boats it's all he works on in the navy it's all set in Tiger Bay Cardiff which is a melting pot of races which interestingly is where Shirley Bassey came from oh, she right. at one point in here and he's all these things he's a father he's um a chancer. He's a gambler yeah. on the street, and that's why it's called the Fortune Men. Right. He's a gambler at the races. He's he's he never takes um, if people are nasty to him, he always comes back. But the one thing he isn't is a murderer. And what happens is he's accused of murder. Oh no! And this, there's no plot po- a plot spoiler to say. Is it a plot spoiler? He's <laughs> hung. He's hung for it. Oh my god! But, um, this is true. And the family only got his, his um, they knew it wasn't him. And, and almost everybody did. It's one of the biggest miscarriages of justice in the British legal system. Right. Have you heard of it? No. No, neither have I. Um, it was only in 19, something like 1995 that the family got the conviction overturned. Right. Because they were going on circumstantial evidence and all the people that um, gave evidence had heard that there was a, a big reward, and so they just said anything. Yeah. And, and so what she does in this, so that sounds as if I've told you the whole thing, but she goes back to him be, um, being in Cardiff. She introduces it, us to his personality, which I have to say is brilliant. I mean, right. he does take shit. He does not take shit from people, but he's got huge faith, which a lot of these people had yeah. in the British justice system. And, of course, it, it when they arrest him, and everybody's saying to him, you have to get a lawyer, you have to get, you know, um, legal aid, and you have to get a good lawyer for that, because, you know, you could end up with the worst possible outcome. Yeah. And he doesn't believe them, because he says, no, British justice isn't like that. If I was guilty, you know, they would fight, they would, if, if I wasn't guilty, they won't, they won't right. um, find me guilty. And, yeah. and so, but they do. And it's heartbreaking. And, and what happens is she takes us on this journey living in Tiger Bay anyway, all his friends, um, his wife and his, his three children. She's a Welsh girl. She gets a hard time for him. It's set in 1952. Okay. Which is looking like that. Yeah. It's uh, also known as the ghost, which ah. I think is quite clever because uh, he's always going around and then people say, well, did you see my tan? Did you see him? And yeah. we're never sure. And that's partly what counts against him in this murder. And is it, thing. is it a portrait of him? Is it a bio? Is it, yeah. it, is it yeah. tied to reality or is it a fiction? Does she fictionalise? No, 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 no. Uh, well, she didn't know the man personally. Yeah. But, but at the back, it's got the acknowledgements and she talked to everybody that ever knew him. Right. So it's a really exhaustive portrait of him. But then, and obviously some people will be put off by this, but I love a courtroom drama. And ah. she has the actual courtroom drama at ah. the end of what they said, which you will not believe. Yeah. And what you just wouldn't believe it could be possible. Right. And what he said and and the way it went. Do you know so do you, I mean? it sounds like it could be right for a BBC drama. Yeah, it absolutely does, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and I don't want people to think, oh, you know... Um, Oh, she's whole, it's a bit woke or something for the sake of it, because I suppose it is a bit woke, but it's woke in, in a... I mean, I picked it up and thought, I don't know about this, I don't know. But 52, I was two. Yeah. And, and I thought, you know, when I looked online and that, nobody mentions him. No, it's as if he didn't exist, so he became a ghost afterwards. Right. And it's a fascinating, fascinating oh, story. Oh, well, some people have already put it on their reading list for Christmas, they've just said. It, Oh! Yeah, yeah, so there you go, Mum. That sounds great. That though. does sound great. Love Nadia it. loves the sound of it. Lots of people are asking if you. That's a really good review, Mum. Well done. Oh, good. good yeah, good. everyone's asking if you could wave at them. 
Hello! <laughs> look, you ate my lap. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you look radi- you do look radioactive, Mum. <laughs> Uh, but also, I don't know if you've seen, there's been so many beautiful, lovely comments about our vlog, our walkabout. Oh, were there? Yeah. yeah oh, I know you sort of, you, think, you know, you said corner. in your sort of thing plug that the they had. It's, the, it's the large white one. Sorry, Mum, we just need to get a plug because I'm running on low battery. But okay, yeah, yeah, okay. There, was, there was so that's many really lovely comments. You subs, that's really kind that... Um, I really like the way you did it with cutting between Nadia's day and our day. Yeah. As long as people just didn't think it was too miserable, because yeah. I've, I've, I've never, I've never been a miserable soul, have no, I? So no. it, it no. wasn't miserable. No, not at all. It was really, I think, lot, yeah, lots and lots of people just wanted to get a little bit more of your backstory. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. And that's and why, also, that's why I kind of kept it to you because we rarely hear yours. I think everyone's heard everything about bloody me. But um, yeah. we haven't heard yours. But, but also, that was only the first 10 years. Of, <laughs> in the sense that I could call those my lost years. Yes. Well, shall we, shall we film then. our next stage in Greenford, though? I did say there's a neighbour there who's got a cage with dogs in it. You did, you <laughs> did. But that wouldn't have been the way that I... I no. Well, I mean, it was a different experience, oh. wasn't it? Well, some comments but, here is Ellery Jones says it was breathtaking. Deborah Holdsworth says you're such a lovely person, Nanny Di. You're never boring. Um, oh. Anita Amor says it was life, ups and downs. Teresa Welsh, you were both so adorable. Very moving, oh. says Janine Emery. Uh, yeah, there you go. So re- people were really moved by it. Oh, thank and that, you. And Nadia's going to watch it with the girls later. Yeah, yeah. And thank you for filming it then, Mark. Oh, that's all right. No, it was good. It was really, <laughs> really healing for me as well. It was really good. It was for me as I sent you text afterwards. Yeah. I kept thinking, I mean, I'd forgotten, com- I know it's in nothing, but I'd forgotten completely that accident that happened in the yes. road, for example. Yeah. And there must be loads of things like that that just aren't in my memory. Yeah. So, um, oh. Yeah, so it's re- it was really nice, really oh. nice. All right, we'll go and keel over in a corner. You've done brilliantly. Okay. Bye, Bye. Bye. Nanny Dad. Love you, Mum. Love you. Love you. Love you. Stay Bye. safe. Bye. 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 Oh. Right, so we do a few cards. Oh, oh my foot. <laughs> Couldn't stand up there. Should we do a few cards? Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to give you time to answer as well. A few qu- quizzes. This is a quiz. quiz. Questions. Um, in what year was the Queen's Christmas speech first televised? Oh. I think I might know that. Have a guess, Mark. 1953. What's coming up? Uh, Lewis Craig, how's the foot mark? It's really hurting. I've done something to my ankle. Uh, Kieran Robbins, it's 1964. Catha O, 1955. Something Sweet, Something Savory, 1952. Elijah's 1952. Green May W, 1952. John Will- Joan Williams, 1954. Julie Hart, 1968. Uh-uh. Oh, was it 1966? The same year nope. as the football. Happy birthday, Nicola. Uh, Shonsta Migmon says 1958. Okay, we're going to give you the card right. because you're the nearest. Royal Christmas Message had previously su- spent 25 years on the radio, started by the Queen's grandfather, George V. Oh. So in 1957 was the first televised. Oh, one. okay. 90, yeah, lots of people saying 1957. Oh. Well done. Oh. Yeah. What? Well. Just gave the card to somebody who got close. Oh, right. Yeah. No, well, give another to... one out to somebody who okay. got it right. So if you, get you can card, have one as well. Uh, so I'm spinning up. Deborah Tideswell. Deborah Tideswell, you've won a card. Got address to Michelle. We're going to get all the cards out just before Christmas. Um, ooh. Uh, ooh, ooh, oh, I don't want top five, too many. Uh, how many Brussels sprouts does the average Brit eat every Christmas? Oh my God. How many Brussels sprouts? Wow. <clears throat> so if you want a clue, it would be 400 million across the nation, more per head than in any other country in Europe. Uh, so 400 million is yeah, what it is yeah. across the country. Ooh. So divide that into yeah, 65 million. I don't think any of the children will be eating them. Kath Zero O says 20. Gemma C says 1980. Oh, sorry, C1980 says 25. Leslie S, 20. Deborah Holdsworth, 30. Kieran Robbins, 1,000. I was going to say that, six. Well, no, you got... I didn't say say it out loud. Oh. It's so that you can find Anita. the first Bosnick arts. Is it right? Well, there is someone. Anita Amor, you've won a card. Anita Amor, Amor, okay, Amor. Right, we'll do... Hang on a minute. 
I didn't even know we were winning cards, so forgive me. We're, we're going to turn around. We always and I'm do gonna... cards. No, I know, but I, I've forgotten. This is my, my fuck up. So sorry, guys. We're going to go back to normal now. But those who've won cards, please send your addresses to Michelle. Next question. Oh. Um, Go on in a minute. Oh, we'll now, if see. you were watching, if you were watching um, Coffee Moaning the other morning, we asked oh this. Oh, my God, hang on. Nanny Dyer's just texted saying... I can't get the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I wish we were filming that. Oh my god! Um, how many points does a snowflake traditionally We've have? We that. asked. No, just saying. If you watched Coffee Moaning the other week, you'll know the answer. Okay. Every snowflake has approximately two hundred snow crystals. Isn't yeah. That lovely? Okay. The answers are coming in. Okay. Do you show me? Can you show me the answer? Oh yeah, no, that's the same. Okay. I'm gonna let everyone have a go. Everyone's having a go. Six is the right answer. Scrolling up. Cara Blears. Cara Blears, you've got a card. Just going to say something quickly. And don't forget, guys, don't forget, it's going to look awful. Don't forget, um, when you hit 24 months, you'll be getting a nice glossy signed photo from us. So that's coming. And I know a lot of you are at 21 months or 22 months or even 23 months. So that's coming soon. So anyway, that's the winner of, of, of that card. And is that all of them? Is, is that, that five all of cards? Them? I don't can't remember. I think, think you gave so. one to the wrong person at the beginning. No, but we gave we said she could yeah. have it anyway, okay. so we've given five. All right. Okay. Marvellous. So is your food ready? Or shall I Let's do the have news? a look. Do the news. Okay. It's news time. News time. Not snooze time. It's news time. It's news time. It's news time. Yeah. This reindeer is gonna tie up his ears if he can. And he's going to do the news. Do you, who likes my hat? Who likes my hat? Who, oh. who likes my who hat? Who likes my hat? Who likes my hat? I was going to be really healthy today. And I've started my day with roast potatoes, yeah. gravy, parsnips yeah. and bloody sausage wrapped in bacon. I promise you, I ain't going to have this hat for too long from what Nadia says. No, Nadia's okay. going to have that off your Sorry, I just showed you so all my fast. very hot armpits. Um, okay, uh, I haven't got many serious ones because I just thought we'd have a laugh. We'd have a laugh. But I do want to just flag up this serious element. We're going to talk a lot on Coffee Moaning this morning about the frustrations of uh, lockdown, or no lockdown, what the hell's going on, why won't they listen to certain science, why are they only listening to certain science. But I think it's really important to stress Vulnerable children face their most dangerous Christmas yet, says the NSPCC, uh, as the continued and repeated uh, uncertainty um, over COVID and the cumulative pressures of the pandemic heighten internal family pressures. Well, I'll have one of those exactly, as well, please. Exactly, exactly. Can you and imagine it's children... It's a toxic cocktail, says the NSPCC. Can you imagine children that are living in terrifying homes hearing that there might be another lockdown. Yeah. Imagine the fear that they, they can't just yeah. willy-nilly... Anyway, we'll do that on Coffee Moaning. Anyway, this, we're is COVID do, free. Yeah, this is COVID-free. Yeah, this is COVID-free. Putin plots Christmas strike. So Putin's taking Christmas to Ukraine. That's another negative one. So I'm going to get rid of the negative ones. Um, this, is, this is negative, but it's kind of in the world of showbiz. If you saw the weekly rushes this week, you'll probably have seen me talking about the fact that charges hadn't been brought against... Chris Knopf, the actor who plays Mr. Big in Sex and the City. Apparently, a third woman has accused Mr. Big of sexual assault. Um, and, I mean, he's claiming that the timing on this is intriguing. You could argue that the timing on this by these women is about knowing they'll get maximum attention in a potentially, po not po positive in, a, in terms of being able to bring it to the sort of public's attention or prosecutor's attention. Uh, but, so Chris Noth is under the gamut, Mr Big. Is anyone a fan of the Sex and the is, City? The thing is, if they... You might have to come over, babe. I don't think we'll hear you over there. Um, the thing is with this, though, if you've got three women with the same, yes, experience, with the same experience, then it's... It's that'll be that'll be decided, won't it? It, it well, because it they strengthens usually strengthens the prosecution. Well, yeah, case, because yeah. usually they have they have their mo, don't they? These these people. So, but if he isn't, I like you were saying the other day, should he really should it really have been put out there? I think it's always dangerous. I think it's always dangerous <gasps> because now, even if he hasn't done it, or even if he was found innocent, there's always going to be that thought. I know. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I sometimes just think there should be some statute or law which mm. keeps it all private 
until it's until it's done. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Sex in the city. I used to love Sex in the City. I it was a I it was a it. must see. Everyone now, always so. expects that I was a massive. Yeah. Expects me to have been a massive yeah, fan of Sex and the City, and I've I never did. watched one episode. So, Ghislaine Maxwell could start naming names if she's found guilty this week. So, we're going to hear the verdict. If she's guilty, there's going to be a lot of nervous people in high places. Uh, Trump was uh, associated with her this week, wasn't he? Um, but I, I, I thought that the Black Book was going to come out, but maybe she's going to start chucking people under the bus. And let's hope so. But the more I hear about her and the more photos I see of her, the more sinister it becomes, if I'm honest. The more sinister it becomes. Uh, I found a man rummaging through our skip the other day. It was very strange. Um, and when I asked him if he'd found anything interesting, he said, yeah, a couple of old VHS tapes. And have you got anything else? Spy in the sky to target fly tippers. So they're going to use drones. Uh, town halls are putting uh, the fly into fly tipping by bringing drones to track down illegal dumping. Is anyone affected by illegal dumping? It's bloody annoying when they use your skip. Um, so that's just, again, drones. Drone, I, I don't know how I feel about drones. I always just feel that technology is going to be used in a different way, don't you? Uh, I wonder if she's going to start naming names, says Pam PMS. I agree, you never know. Son she will, if she's got a she life in prison, yeah. she will. Yeah, Shara Lou, yes, it's annoying, fly tipping. Uh, Jackie Valino, love you guys so much, loving this live. Thanks, Jackie. Uh, Prince Andrew was already named in the documents. She also took some girls to a party or an after-premiere party attended by Prince Charles. Again, there's a danger, there's a danger that everyone becomes implicated by association. So that one has to, again, take a modicum of... Just because you were at a party that Ghislaine was at, I'm sure Nadia has been to parties where people have been there, it doesn't mean she's necessarily friends with them. Um, oh, crumbs. Now, I always remember Nigel Slater saying, in this country, the only thing that would bring about a revolution was if they banned biscuits. That would cause total civilised kind of mayhem, civilization mayhem. Oh, crumbs. McVitie's chief warns that the price of biscuits are about to rise and bite us. What's your favourite biscuit, guys? Uh, I think mine's, mine is a milk chocolate digestive. It wins every time for me. Wins every time. Because a little bit of it just drips off. Uh, Joan Williams says, that's great news about fly tipping. I litter pick every week and there's no end to litter and fly tipping. Uh, Nicola Higgins says, can I get a song for my birthday yesterday? Thanks for all you do. We can do that. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nicola Higgins. Happy birthday to you. I'm so happy birthday, I'm going to rut. That's me rutting. Um, Two thirds of voters want referendum on axing the BBC licence fee because the Sawala Adelies do a better job. Can you believe that? Nadia just turned around. Two thirds of voters want a referendum. Do you want to stop the BBC licence? Yes or no? Would you like to stop the British Broadcasting Corporation's licence? I don't necessarily think one gets value for money anymore, if I'm brutally honest. Um, I mean, I never thought I'd say that, but I've just said it. Uh, yes, 100%. Yeah, what did I ask? Should they, what did I ask? Should they scrap it? Oh yeah, I thought so. The vast majority of people. Yeah, it is. For what you get, I mean, you know, I'm not knocking the show, but Mrs. Brown's boys for yet another year and call the midwife. I mean, come on, get a bit more adventurous. I'm not saying they're bad shows, but it's just like, give us something else alongside them. Do you know what I mean? Angela Lott, I don't watch mainstream TV. Do you know what? Neither do we that much. We watch it all on catch up. We don't have, we don't have, what do they call it? Event watching or... Um, the Great British, as in bite, Bake Off. Um, Mary Berry was attacked by bed bugs after being put up in budget accommodation by the BBC. Ah, that's we, happened to me before with the that, BBC. That's happened to me with the BBC and it was our series. I mean, you know, budgets are tight with the BBC. Um, yeah, she was exposed to the critters after she was booked into a £25 a night youth hostel while filming early Bake Off episodes. The great, apparently, bed bugs. 
woman up in a bloody youth yeah. hostel. Yeah, before, she was, a, before she was a big... A youth, I mean, I've never heard of a youth hostel. That's quite something. Some of those places they used to put me in in, in Spain when I was doing oh, Tosswalk yeah. to the Sun. Yeah. They once One, put you... I didn't have a phone. Yeah. One, I didn't even have an ironing board. And I'm having to change my outfits five, dice, five times a day. Right. And no breakfast. Yeah. So I was basically in a room. Yeah. You were once put in a brothel and they thought you were one of the oh, ladies, wow. didn't they? Um, Daily Star, ever reliable. Red, <laughs> the headline is Slap and Tika. Not Slap and Tickle, Slap and Tika. Red Hot Willy Pep Ups. Curry Spice is a sex boost. Okay, no, so. I don't think so, because it gives everyone an upset A spice found in curry can improve men's fertility, a oh, study has found. It. Fenugreek seeds and leaves are used in Jalfrezis and Vindaloo. A 500 milligram dose of furosap, a supplement made from the seeds, was given to 100 men. By week eight, the sp sperm movement had significantly increased. We've mentioned sperm twice today. I know, we weren't expecting that when we Mind were you, you'd mention over or ovum without going, Ugh. But, um, so the hot dishes are Sindaloo, Pilau Talk, yes, oh look, five hot dishes. Sindaloo, Pilau Talk, as in Pillow Talk, yes, darling, curry up, curry on up to bed, and sex madras. <laughs> now look at this, horrible. Baubles with serial killers' faces on and paedophiles. Who the hell wants those? Would you want What's that? I suppose it's like... Sickos are selling festive baubles. Yeah. Now, this is a funny, funny story. Who likes trees? Our tree year trees. anniversary. I love trees. This woman married a tree. It's true love, says woman, wed to wood. A woman who married a tree in a barking mad ceremony says they are still strong as oak after three years. Yeah, she married a tree. She's been with it for three years. She insists they are more loved up than ever this festive season. There's a photo just there of the groom. <laughs> I would love to be a fly on the wall in the editorial of the Daily Star. I mean, you know. Who's that? Uh, look, this was the wedding day. Look, the, the, do you remember that documentary I did where the woman married a cat? Well, we've married loose women off to very strange things. A pig. Yeah. One of them married... A Tracy Emin married a rock. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of these? Balloon trees. Do you like them? I'm asking no. you. No. Apparently, they're, they're really different. The seasons must have decoration is hell to build and anything but green. I don't like that at all. No. I agree. Um, this woman is called uh, Britain's Cave Woman. Do you want to see Britain's Cave Woman? There she is. And she has got the taste for roadkill. Has anyone ever read, read, eaten roadkill? I have. I was filming in Chile, we ate roadkill. Did you? Yeah, it was really nice. It was, it was dead guinea pig. Um, nothing like a flattened guinea pig. Uh, cave woman, a self-confessed cave woman, butchers and the carcasses of dead animals and then feasts on her roadkill. Toffee. She's no, leave got us, I thought we could do dogs. Okay, and finally, forget Apple and Tesla. Gadget of the year is a seventy-pound soup maker. So forget your Apple MacBook or your Russell Hobbs glass kettle. That is the bit of tech of the year. She does look scary, doesn't she, Jackie? Oh look, Dragon Rose. My father-in-law would pick up pheasants. Yeah. What What is the law in Scotland? If you hit a deer, do you? have to pick it up or does the next car that comes along pick it up there's some arcane sort of law isn't it right i'm going to try standing on my foot again hope you enjoyed the news should we go and see the dogs i thought what we could do first Ow. actually is get the crumble up put it on the plate so it cools down a bit so we yeah. can try it and then go and do a bit with the dogs oh okay sounds so, good oh, really oh look at that hang on oh, oh look at that is that ready it's bubbling away, yeah. oh so good. Oh, yes. And you saw how easy... Look at that bubbling caramel. Wow. So, as I say, let's put a bit on the plate. Yeah. Because I know you guys get frustrated when we don't try stuff. Oh, I just, just burnt my finger trying to push it. Well, of course you will, because it's just come out for yeah, you. Yeah, I didn't think. Oh. I didn't think. I never think around hot things. Doesn't that look good? It smells divine. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It smells lovely, Tina Davis. Mm. So we'll let that cool a bit. Okay. And then we'll come back and put some cream on it and okay. try it. Let's go and come over and see Toss. Let's go and see what she's got in her bed. 
Have a little look at the snow village because I bet oh. you haven't looked at that for Coffee. Bit. Come here. Tops. Say hello. To this me. was her most of yesterday. Lisa and Carlitos Aww. were here yesterday and she just worked her way between the two of them. Okay. Say hello. hello. We were laughing at her teeth yesterday because they looked like she's yeah. stolen someone's dentures. Well, yours. But well, look what happens when I sing to her. Sahila night, holy night, all is good, all is bright, round yon virgin, mother of mine, holy infant so Tender and why see when I go for a big number. Sleep in heavenly peace. Oh. Sleep in heavenly Ooh. peace. Silent oh, night. Holy <laughs> night. <laughs> All is good, all is bright. She loves my singing. She's the only one. Round yon virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, <laughs> so tender and mild. Got all misty-eyed. Sleep in heavenly peace. Is that real? <laughs> Sleep in heavenly peace. Oh my God, she's like a baby. She loves okay, it. No, she doesn't. She's desperate. She, she loves it. it. Toffee. Come we'll on, let's bit. look Toff. when it's pitching to, to Chi Chi. Come. Come on. I just want to quickly see what she's got in her bed. Oh, it's quite... Oh, look, here's her roadkill. It's her roadkill. Hey, Tov. Come on in. Come on, Chi-Chi. Come on, Chi-Chi. Let's have a nice Who lit the dog? Chi-Chi, come here. Playing hard to get. Oh. Sit. Oh, Sit. Sit. Now the holly bears a berry as bright as and the like, bush. No! And Mary no. bore, look at the neck, look at the thing. And Mary bore Jesus Christ uh, with a goldfish. Ah, 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 this is a medley. Ah, 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 ah. Someone said, oh no. No, she loves it, look. Oh, she's gone. This is what I was doing yesterday. Their tops, they love my singing. Oh. They love me. Yeah, they do. We don't see. We don't. We take dogs for granted. And Everybody else it. runs away when I sing, but my dogs lie with me and love me and cuddle me. So there you go, guys. There you go. That was your No Name Sunday show number oh, like pudding, yeah? number ninety seven. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, number 97. This is number 97. You've had the news, you've had Nanny Die, you've had singing from Nadia, you've had... The dogs. Glorious food, a bit of affection with the dogs, and now you're going to turn around and we're going to make really frustrate you by showing you how gorgeous this crumble is. Thick cream works really well. You could stir a little vanilla. Okay. Okay. We done. No, I'm gonna try it, babe. Try it, babe. Mm. Good. Crunchy bit of crumble. Actually, 
I wouldn't cook the apples any more than I did. They were really nice though. Mm. So a 25 minutes on regular two, 200. And it's absolutely divine. There you go. What's up? Okay. Mm. okay, guys, well, listen, we're back at 12.15 for coffee moaning. Um, and we'll look forward to having a right moan. We're gonna have a right moan, a right chin wag about what the fuck is going on in this country yeah. with COVID, okay? Yeah. Um, so look, guys, thanks for all your contributions. Uh, thanks for all your comments on various vlogs. We do see them all. It's, it's batshit crazy here, shooting and getting stiff stuff done, but uh, it's really, really rewarding. We're loving, we're loving it and we're loving that you're loving it. That's the main reason. So guys, stay safe. Thanks for a lovely oh, show. Oh, don't forget it's a live vlog, Mr. Knight. Oh, yes. And we're doing some giveaways. Ah, ooh, what big giveaways? I don't know. Ooh, okay. Um, guys, see you at 12.15 and see you tonight. Lots of love, yeah. guys.